Welcome to our fascia hack. Today we have a very exciting exercise and training which is called proprioceptive training, which is the ability of our body to feel itself in space. And that is truly a form of intelligence, we could almost say. How do we actually coordinate our movement? Are we moving elegantly in space? Are we rather clumsy tending towards injury or is there uh, an inbuilt ability of the body to hold itself, to move smartly. And we are going to practice together. The way that I would like to exemplify the proprioceptive training is by using a yogic posture, the tree pose, the standing balancing tree pose. So let's get started and we do a few rounds um, of that posture with a few more catches here and there. Let's go. And we're just going to spend a moment in the upright standing posture. You can close your eyes and just feel into your feet. The way that you're distributing your weight onto your feet. You can see whether you're tending to bring more weight towards your toes or towards your heels. Maybe more towards the right or more towards the left. Just try to observe that for a moment. No need to change anything. And now you can gently open your eyes again. Just remain in this posture. And we'll now start building up the tree pose, the balancing tree pose. So choose either leg, left or right. And after this video, please also make sure to practice the other side. But just for us to um, get the practice correctly, just choose one leg for now. I'm going to choose my left leg as the standing leg and now whichever leg you choose let's start shifting our weight a bit more towards that leg and you can feel that after a moment you'll be able to slowly slowly lift the other leg the other foot off the floor and let's just stay here for a moment again bringing the awareness into our body Feel the standing leg and notice whether you tend to rather collapse and just get flabby in the body or whether your body, your core is holding you. You can make sure that your muscles are engaged in the thigh but mainly also in the pelvic girdle stabilizing the hip, the spine, the upper body is upright and relaxed. From here we have different ways to perform the tree pose. You can either leave one foot on the floor, bringing it up towards the calf or all the way up towards the pelvic floor, depending on your level of flexibility and balance. So this is just our starting point. If you feel that this is already difficult, just stand next to a wall so you can at any point hold yourself there. Now, proprioceptive training. How can we get a bit more sensitive about the way we are shifting weight? Let's use a prop. Just get yourself a pillow or fold a blanket in a, a rather disorganized way. And we're placing that now onto the floor. And let's step onto whatever object you choose again with the left foot or with your standing leg and for a moment we just feel that uneven surface for a moment and once more we start shifting our weight we build up the strength we build up the core and we see if we can lift the other leg off the floor again choose the position of rest whatever is comfortable for you and try to feel the difference here. Now that you are constantly balancing out the posture with your feet, feel how the rest of the body responds to it. You will notice that if you manage to place the center of gravity, which is usually between some, some way between your navel and your pubic bone, if that center of gravity is just aligned with the standing leg, then the movement itself, the posture itself will have more stability and will take you less effort 
to maintain the posture and you won't be as wobbly as you could be if you don't align yourself. Very good, taking one more breath here, constantly keeping the focus on the entire body. Let's release the posture, stepping off the object, just resting for a moment, also giving that standing leg a little bit of rest. Excellent, you can shake your legs if that is more comfortable. And now we come to the cherry on top, the actual proprioceptive training, where it becomes very clear how much we are depending on the visual impulse, how much we are actually using our eyes to keep the balance versus feeling our body from within and coming with a sense of balance from within, from this inner alignment. So what we're going to do now without any other object on the floor, we once again come into the tree pose. So again, if that is too much, just use that one or have the wall next to you. So any posture which is comfortable, let's go into it. And now with our eyes open, I like you to start shifting your awareness. Yes, the eyes are open, but see if you can Draw your senses more within, feel your body from within. And as you feel yourself aligning the center of gravity with the standing leg, with the center of support, let's see if we can close our eyes gently. First having them half open, and then if possible, see if you can close them fully. Breathing, observing feeling your, your own body in space. If it becomes too difficult, you can open your eyes at any point. But again and again, bringing that awareness inside, internalizing the awareness, physical awareness. And then slowly releasing the posture giving a little bit of release and shake to the standing leg, to the entire posture. We conclude. So first, just becoming aware of the posture. See if you can perform the balancing tree on the other side. Then again, placing that object to make it a little bit more difficult, but at the same time, easier to understand the way that we are working with balance. And then finally coming back into the tree pose without any uneven surface and see if you can close your eyes. Really relying on that intelligence of the body, the proprioceptive intelligence. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and please comment below how this is going for you. Did you notice that change of awareness from the external to the internal? I'd be very happy to read your comments and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to follow us on Facebook and also on Instagram. And I hope to see you soon in one of our fascia trainings where we go into great length and detail all about proprioception and much more. See you then.